the KX News Storm Team. Good morning. It is 615. Welcome back. We still have our blizzard warning in the southeast, and that is going to include our counties of McIntosh and Logan there. Uh, the winter storm warning down 94. So this area is seeing some still some pretty strong winds and reduced visibility. The rest of us under cold weather headlines, whether a wind chill warning or a wind chill advisory here. Partly cloudy skies out there, and as we head towards the afternoon, we'll have a slow decrease in those clouds, and snow could linger in some of our southeastern counties. In in fact, that's where uh, in the south, rather, is where we saw some of the highest numbers yesterday. 11 inches in Fort Yates. And keep in mind, a lot of this began on Sunday night. Uh, just northeast of Ashley, just over 10 inches. Five inches in New England and Napoleon. Glen Ellen, just over three inches. So a lot of folks doing some shoveling out there. And we were all shoveling in sub-zero temperatures. It was tough yesterday. And this morning, we're down to 10, 15, 20 below, even down to 24 below in Crosby. You add a breeze out there, and we're down to 30 and 40 below for wind chills widespread. So certainly seeing a pretty cold start to the day and the wind direction and speed out of the north here. Still a little breezy off towards the southeast and it will stay breezy in southeast North Dakota today. Uh, this afternoon, here's kind of a snapshot of the winds by about 3 p.m. Still keeping it out of the north around 10 to 15 up to 20 or so in the southeast. Now highs today just like yesterday. They will stay sub zero. We are looking at a cold day and we keep those low wind chills not just all day today, but into tonight. And the wind chill advisory and warning lasts until tomorrow at noon at least. So as we head through the rest of the day, we'll see the clouds decrease because of high pressure moving in from the northwest. That high pressure will also really plunge our lows tonight. And once it moves off towards the east, the good news here, heading into Wednesday, we'll get what's called a return flow around this high and a more southerly influence. And that's what's going to allow us to climb back to above zero on Wednesday. It's still going to be bone chilling cold, but we'll start seeing some positive of numbers then. Temperatures tonight down to 20 and 25 below, so a colder night arguably tonight than what we've been feeling this morning and last night. And then here's what I mean by climbing to just above zero on Wednesday. We'll start to see those positive numbers. If you're east of 83, you might not see some positive numbers until we get to Thursday, quite possibly into Friday. And that's because this cold air will slowly push off towards the east here. It will give us a big difference as we head into Friday and an even bigger difference once we get into Saturday. You can see that here on the next 10 days. We've got a bigger warm up here. It's a cold front moving through on Sunday. But next week, we've got temperatures to round out February above freezing. So that'll feel pretty good here. Here's the next three days in Dickinson. Sub zero today to double digits on Thursday. And keep in mind that a lot of us will see some good sunshine for the second half of the work week. Here's your forecast for Williston. Back to those double digits once we get into Wednesday, excuse me, Thursday, that is. And then here's your forecast for Minot. Over the next week, lots of sunshine opportunity here. Not a lot of chances for precipitation, and we are warming back up. Here's your forecast for Bismarck. Looking to see above zero numbers tomorrow, and then once we get into next week, that's when we might be talking temperatures above freezing again. Well, you mentioned how many? 11 inches in Fort Yates? Yeah, 11 inches. Nearly a foot of snow. Mm. Wow. And they need it down there, right? Yeah, Andrew? well, a lot of folks, yeah, need it, especially the southwestern part of the yeah. state. It was good to see five inches as a report in New England. Those areas mm -hmm. have been missing out so much on snow that many of us have been getting this yeah. winter. Yeah. Well, it's uh, good. Even five inches is manageable, considering. It's moisture. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Exactly. Thank you, Amber. And keep it with us here.